Hello, everybody. This is Brian Ankney with Auto Success Magazine. I really appreciate you all taking the time to join us today. Um, today, I have the pleasure of introducing Sean Stapleton um, from Dealer Teamwork. We're going to talk about digital marketing. Um, you know, we're going to help you to, you know, make it easy to understand and, and to use. And and Sean's going to go over, you know, some some of the things that I'm, I'm sure a lot of this stuff is stuff that you've struggled with before. Some of it might, might be things you don't know that you're struggling with. Now, before we get started, a couple of things I'd like to go over. One, depending on what device you're using today, uh, the question function might be a little different. If you're on a laptop or, or a PC or, or a tablet, it should, there should be a pane on the right side of your screen. Those questions, you hit the plus sign, type in the question. Now, we are going to hold the questions to the end, but I, do, I would like to request that as they come up, please type them in. Because that way, when we get to the end of the presentation, we've got some great questions to just you know, hit the ground running with. Um, now, if you are on a smartphone, depending on, a, on whether it's an Android or an Apple, the, you will either have a header and a footer, or you might have a picture frame that goes all the way around your screen. Somewhere on there is a question mark. Hit that, and it'll allow you to type in your question. And then you might be able to swipe it away, depending on the, the device, or you might have to click on the monitor, which is also in that picture frame or on the header or footer, and that'll return you to the webinar. Now, we are going to do a couple, or we're going to do a few polls today. Polls are just basically they're questions that we're going to ask you, and, and we invite you to please type, you know, please select the answer that is most appropriate, and that way we can share the, the statistics about about where we all are and where we all want to go. Um, one last thing, and I'm going to introduce Sean, is if you have not joined Auto Success webinars yet, it's a group on Facebook, and, and I invite you to go there. Just type it into the search bar on Facebook, Auto Success webinars. Request to join the group. Now, in that group. You know, we invite you to interact with our speakers, to interact with our auto success staff. You can let us know topics or people you'd like to have on in the future. But most importantly, you guys can interact with each other. Sean's going to show you a bunch of stuff today. You're going to end up with lots of notes, and this is not a one-step process. And so as you guys, you know, try to improve your businesses, I invite you to share your successes and failures with each other and ask questions of each other and, and, and help each other, you know, move forward and, and implement these changes. No, nope. hey, that's that's all I have to get started with. Um, Sean, uh, please take us away. Thank you, Brian, and thank you all the auto success listeners and everyone else for taking the time to listen to us today. We're uh, very excited to show you what we found. So, dealer teamwork. Our tagline is making digital marketing easy to understand and use, and we try to do it in that order for a reason. So, let's go ahead and start. What's the core search principle. The core search principle is pretty simple, Brian. It's the more relevant and precise our ads are to the initial search query, the more relevant and precise our ads will be to Google and the customers, and the more likely our ads will be clicked on. It sounds so simple, Brian, and it's so basic in its approach, yet so many people are not doing it correctly, not maximizing the core search principle. Let me explain what you mean. We've followed the Google documented process. Google tells you exactly how to do search right. They tell you exactly how to do digital marketing correctly. They lay it out on a step-by-step -step process. What we did at Dealer Teamwork is we took the time to read this and understand it. Please, it doesn't say Google Automotive Partners or Sales Processes, Google Process and Partners, best practices. The secret, Brian, is we're not building ads for people. We're building ads for Google. Because if Google doesn't like your ads, your people might not see it or it costs too much. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So let's go to the second one. Remember the old adage, Brian, that only half your marketing works? I wish I wish knew which half. Well, until, yeah, today, absolutely. until today, no one's been able to solve the major problem that all dealers have today. How do I use my transactional data to my competitive advantage? What do I mean by that? Well, Dealer Teamwork's real-time platform allows and enables dealers to easily create, distribute, manage, track, and update, and use your OEM incentives, your rebates, your specials, your APRs, the transactional elements of the actual deal itself as a competitive data advantage. Think about this. When people are looking to buy a car or learn about a car or a used car or a service, what are they trying to understand? Is it right for me? What's it cost? Am I getting a fair deal, et cetera? That's all relative to transactional data. And most people aren't using this today to your search competitive advantage. 
Let me explain why and show you. Start with the MPOP, Brian. The MPOP is our patent pending application, right? It stands for something pretty basic. Merchandising, personalization, optimization, platform. Seems very basic, but let me explain what it does. It helps you merchandise your offers, it personalizes them for the clients, and it optimizes the performance of both the paid, the organic, the website, the landing pages, the call to action, etc. It optimizes the whole experience. So let's go ahead and start with a question one to start, Brian. All Which right. describes your vehicle marketing, merchandising, and optimization process today? Is it number one? Are specials automatically or updated? Right? Is it number two? Wait for OEM offers or someone else creates my banner ads and publishes the website? Is it number three? I have an agency or a third-party consultant that handles updating my OEM specials, my service specials, my new car offers, etc. Or number four, I have a process, I can't describe it. Or number five, the worst is I don't have a process at all. Please, you know listeners, as, as, go ahead and answer those okay. questions. Yeah, we, we're actually getting a lot of answers right now. Right now, 50% of our people that have ever, or 45% say they wait for the OEM, 33% agency third party, 8% we have a process but I can't describe it, and 17% say there's no process at all. So Brian, tell what the listeners can do is when they're done with the webinar today, go to your own website, go to your Google search and type in, you know, if you're a Ford dealer, uh, how much is a you know, new F-150 lease? or a buy or a savings or a used car offer and see what comes up. See if I can find these processes, see if you can find these offers, okay? Understand something, that most of the dealers I look at today are not updating their OEM incentives, their bank incentives, their used car offers, or their service specials or offers regularly. And if they're doing it, they might be doing it with one offer, not multiples. The more offers, the more relevant it can be to the customer's searching. Look. You might be interested in buying a new F-150 on a zero down lease. I might be interested to discount. Somebody else might be looking for the savings. By being able to create multiple offers the way people are searching, it increases the relevance of the search, which means there's a higher click-through rate, which means there's a lower cost per click, which means it's a better conversion. It's very, very simple, Brian. We'll continue on if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know, you know, one thing I want, did want to bring to your attention, Sean, is, is we actually had 0% of people answered the first, the first answer, specials automatically updated. Well, it's very difficult to do, and most people aren't doing this. Most people are not taking advantage of their OEM specials, their used car specials, their service specials, maybe their bank, maybe their credit unions. People are always making different offers and ways to buy cars. Why did dealers continue to make it difficult for customers? For example, most people are buying car on a payment, right, a monthly payment. Well, show me today how many dealers are actually showing me their monthly payment on a regular basis. Let me show you what I mean. Buyers today are looking for relevant search, okay? So let me go ahead and show you what that means. Okay, the more relevant, the better the results. Okay, so ready? Let's go ahead and click this. Look at this. So here's a 2016 Jeep Cherokee lease. Let's say I type that in my Google search engine. Google is not an advertising company. Google's a data company, Brian. So Google's trying to constantly look at the search criteria you're putting in to understand relevance. They have three words to understand the relevance. 2016, Cherokee and lease. So let's look at these carefully. 2016 Cherokee lease. Look at the first ad that popped up. It's a paid ad, you can tell by the green box. It's the OEM. It's 2016 Jeep Cherokee. Rise the bar for 4x4 performance. I don't know what that has any relevance to my search criteria whatsoever. Do you, Brian? No. That's a horrible ad. That's an example of an OEM that's not doing this correctly. They're wasting money. Look at the second ad. New Jeep Cherokee. Okay. Brian, if I typed in 2016 Cherokee lease, what do you think I'm looking for, sir? I'd say a 2016 Cherokee lease. 
wouldn't that make sense? So how about including the price? <laughs> Would that make yeah. the ad more relevant? It would be clicked through better. You'd have a better opportunity. It would be a lower cost per click. Look at the next one. Jeep Cherokee leases. Capability without compromise. Again, I don't have any understanding what that really means according to my, what I'm looking for. Let's go to the next one. How about typing this in? Mercedes C300 lease. Okay. So again, I have the OEM in the first place on the paid ad. Right. It talks about the different models. But it's not answering the question. It's not relevant to the search. Okay. Look at the second one. A much better ad. Okay. Two ninety nine a month for Mercedes lease. Exceptional lease specials now. But how about how about making that even better? How about including a phone number in it? How about including a couple more pieces of information that's even more relevant, make it easier for that customer to connect to me? Look at the next one. Three sixty nine a month. Right lease. These are better and more relevant ads. Relevant ads cost less, they get better click through, and they get better results. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let's try another one. There's a super basic one. Ford F-150 price. Look at the very first ad you can see there is, is the Chevy Silverado looking to maybe steal some of this traffic. If you're looking at F-150, maybe you'll find a Silverado attractive. How could Chevy make their ad more relevant to that search? How about including the 2016 Chevy Silverado prices in the ad. Wouldn't that make more sense, Brian? Yeah, I mean, that the person's looking for the price. The price is what you they want to see. I see this every day, Brian. I see this every day wrong in the car business. I see that people aren't taking the time to make their ads relevant. They're more interested in things like how much traffic, where did it go, what's going on. But start with the most important and basic thing. Am I answering the question according to what people are looking for? Make an easy for them to convert to what they're looking for. In this case, they're looking for a Ford F-150 price. Let's go to the next one. Ford Explorer buy price. Look at the first one. Buy Ford Explorer. You can see why the ad fired. You can see the words that are highlighted that cause this ad to trigger, right? Buy Ford and Explorer. Look at the second ad down. Extremely relevant. Look at this. New 2017 Ford Explorer. Okay, Buy for 28000 7.92 and save $4,308 off MSRP. There's a phone number in there. It talks about buying and leasing. That's an incredibly relevant ad according to that search criteria that was put together. Look at the next one down. Car gurus, for sale, Ford Explorers. But they didn't even tell me the price. They have used ones starting at $14.95. Okay? Look at Ford Motor Company, the Ford Explorer ad here. This again, this is the OEM doing it wrong. Why haven't they included a buy price or even an MSRP for a 2017 Ford Explorer? It would increase the relevance, wouldn't it? And answer the question better. Let me keep going. Hyundai Elantra prices. I think we're probably looking for an Elanda, a Hyundai Elantra price. You can see the OEM does a nice job here calling out some calls to action. It's got the Black Friday. It shows an MSRP. Look at the first dealer position. 2017 uh, Orlando Hyundai, right? Lease for 109 or 189 a month with zero down or save $4,222 off MSRP. Look at, fantastic with a phone number there. That's an excellent job. That's a very relevant ad according to the search. That ad, because the relevance is there, is going to get a very high click-through rate. Next, please. Jeep Patriot lease deals. Again, these are just examples you can do at home when we're done, right? Or at your store. When I type in Jeep Patriot lease deals, I think I'm looking for a Jeep Patriot lease. Look at the very top one. Lease, view current offers. Wait a second. Look at the end of that ad. It says 17695 MSRP. What does MSRP and lease have to do in common? Here's another example of an ad that's not relevant, but they're firing in anyways. This is expensive, wasteful digital marketing. The next one, Lease Patriot Lease. How about include the lease price? Look at the next one down, the third position. 2016 Jeep Patriot, two-week year sales event. Lease for $143 a month or $169, zero down on sale for $11,871 now. 
That's incredibly relevant. It answered the question. It allowed the consumer to understand what they're looking for fast and easy. Now, the question would be, where do you land them? After you have all this beautiful traffic, where are you taking them? Right? What do you want them to see? What do you want them to do when they get there? So let's talk about this for a second. Right? What do we solve? What does the MPOP solve? It solves managing your online specials. For most dealers, it's very hard for your new, your used, and your service. It's very time consuming. Do you have landing pages that are built out properly? Are you set up with your specials in a way that Google can read it? Or is it a JPEG image that doesn't do anything except make your general manager feel like they've done something good? Google can't read pictures. Add a title tag, so what? Why don't we build the ads correctly? Let's start by building smart, responsive landing pages. Again, what do you want customers to see, do, et cetera, after they've clicked on your very expensive ad? Most people forget that getting somebody to click on an ad is not the end. It's the beginning, right? How do you keep up with your OEM offers? How do you keep up if you're a Chrysler dealer right now with your OEM changing the incentives, the rebates, the offers? Heck, so many of the different vehicles have so many different offers on it based on trim level, et cetera. It's very difficult to do. So guess what? Most people don't do it. Look at the ads and the offers you're building today, Brian. I have a question for you and the viewers. If 87% of all the vehicle sales are financed, why aren't you showing finance information to customers in paid search and organic? Why aren't more people showing a monthly payment in their BDPs and SRPs or on their smart landing pages? Why do people assume they can translate an MSRP to a monthly payment? That doesn't make any sense. Our data has shown us for years that's not effective or efficient. So what does launch control do very quickly? Okay. It builds relevant marketing campaigns for your paid, owned, and earned. Look at After listening to hundreds of dealers describe their challenges they have of keeping their online merchandising in a format that converts, according to Google, at the highest possible level, we saw a tremendous opportunity to solve that. We created the MPOP for new, used, and service, allowing you to build highly relevant, mobile-friendly, dynamic, responsive offers that you can control, change, and measure in real time. So today, most people, updating your current offers for new use and service is very ineffective. It is very vague from an SEO or SEM perspective. You have low quality pages or low quality responses. You have tremendous amount of missed opportunities by landing people on dead end marketing campaigns. Or more effectively, or a better example, imagine landing somebody on your home page after clicking on a paid search for an F-150 for $2.49 a month to land somebody on your home page. Think how disconnected that is. Think how ungenuine that is. Think about the trust levels you're breaking there, right? It can be very expensive to keep your specials, your offers, your landing pages, your, your display, your rotators up and current. So many people use agencies, right, which makes it very inefficient. It's very time consuming. So again, what most people do is they just don't do it or they do it to the absolute minimums. And more importantly, and most importantly, it's very slow. Many of our OEMs today are changing their incentives so often, you might only have two, three, four days to take advantage of that special. Or I see all the time, Brian, it's the first day of the month and people don't have their new specials up. Why not? Why not be taking advantage of that traffic that's searching for those right now? You might be the only dealer in your market to actually be presenting the national tier one ad that they just saw on Saturday or Sunday watching football. And Brian, one of the most important parts of digital marketing is speed. Remember, if you can't get it up, if you're taking too long, if it's too expensive, it's not going to matter. Many of my dealers waste one-third of their opportunity waiting on their agency to get their offers, their pictures, their disclaimers up correctly. We believe it should be real time. So let's go with question two now, Brian. Right? What's some of the biggest problems with your vehicle marketing, marketing merchandising, and op optimization processes today? Is it it's slow and I can't create or edit my campaigns in real time? It doesn't publish offers to paid search. In other words, 
can I actually change my special on my Jeep Cherokee and have that transactional data put in my paid and my organic? If you can't, you're in trouble, right? I don't know how well it performs. I can't track it. Brian, let me tell you something, all the viewers. Anybody using the word proprietary in reporting is using fraudulent data. Yeah, you heard me say it here. Why wouldn't we use Google Analytics, right? What, what are people afraid of? I believe in 100% transparency. Good digital marketing is 100% transparency, and it's 100% trackable, right? Or it's not responsive, it's not mobile friendly. There are many vendors out there in automotive today that are penalizing dealers by using their tools because they're not responsive or dynamic. Google told us on Mobile Geddon in April last year, I'm going to penalize people that don't use mobile friendly technology, that they can't optimize for mobile. There are many, many dealers out there today that are not optimized for 75% of this traffic, which is a shame. And then the last is all the above. Let's see what we get for submission here. All right. Right, right now, Sean, we've got 36% say it, it, it's slow and can't create slash edit campaigns. We, we have zero say don't, doesn't publish offers to page search. 8% say I don't know how well it performs. Uh, 8 or 7% says not responsive, mobile friendly. And 50% of people, uh, the, largest, the largest group is uh, all of the above. We have some clearly some very smart retailers on the phone, right? Because most of the dealers today don't have the ability to do this. They're not doing this. They're kidding themselves that they think they are. Almost anybody's website we can go to in a second, we can show you how to improve the optimization, how to use transactional data to stand out from the crowd, to use the elements that people are searching for to drive more relevant traffic yourself. I don't understand why dealers don't drive more relevant traffic themselves. Why are they looking at third-party lead providers to drive your traffic? It doesn't make any sense. Third-party lead providers are ruining the car industry. You heard it here first. We're going to teach dealers how they can generate their own leads at a lower cost per click, at a higher relevancy, and allow them to take control of their destiny in real time. So. Why does launch control use transactional data? What am I talking about? Transactional data are the elements related to the transaction. It's things like your APR. It's multiple lease payments. It's discounts. It's terms. Again, if 87% of consumers are financing cars, why aren't we using the finance information to help with search? For example, I'll give you a perfect example. If you go to buy an F-150, an F-150 Lariat and an XLT do not lease or do not sell for the same price. So why do all my Ford stores out there have one price on an F-150 when there are many different versions of an F-150 that cost differently? A Raptor is three times what a base F-150 is in price. So don't assume that putting a lease price on a stripped down vehicle is the best way to generate your search traffic. Consumers are educated. They know what's going on now. And make sure that all of this is mobile friendly. So again, take advantage of some of your biggest competitive opportunities by using transactional data to stand out with your search. How? Why are we doing this? Because search engines need it. Search engines are looking to understand relevance. right? By having ads like we showed earlier that has pricing in it, the transactional data, a call to action, an expiration date. It can help people understand what it takes to get that deal. Is it a fair deal and is that deal available? That's transactional. The MPOP enhances all of your digital marketing. It helps you create, build, distribute, and manage everything fast, easy, and responsive. For once and one time only, it's in one place. The dealer doesn't have to go to 13 locations. They take it from an inventory feed. They allow them to create, distribute, and manage their content in real time the way they want to, to stand out from the crowd. So let's talk about something here. We have six pending patents today on the MPOP. One of them is called our quality score indicator. What it basically does, Brian, is it teaches you and guides you how to build the most relevant ads. It would be like the equivalent, you'd never take an ad out in AutoTrader or Cars.com without a price or a phone number. It doesn't make sense. 
So why do we spend money on our ads that aren't optimized to perform? Look how simple this technology is. It takes your ad instantly, your inventory. It builds out, for example, for every used car you have, it builds a new used car offer every single day for every car. And it tells you how to optimize that ad to get better performance. Look at this example. It's saying that you're missing six things. You're missing your tagline, your MSRP, your savings amount, your lease offer, your zero down, and your APR. By including a zero down or an APR, I can fire an APR organic. I can fire an APR paid. I can answer the questions the way people are searching. Let me say it to you this way. If I can build multiple ads per search, about 100 people searching for an F-150, and I have one ad, how relevant is that to the 100 people? If I have 100 people searching for an F-150, and I have 90 to 140 variations of an ad, there's a significantly higher percentage of relevance. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's super basic easy. Again, we make digital marketing easy to understand first and use second. And again, Brian, why am I telling you this? Because it's so bad in automotive today. So clearly, it's pretty simple. Watch this. Build better ads, engage buyers more. Look at what's happening in this, right? This is an example of one of our customers quickly logging in, looking at what's missing, adding some information. See how the quality score is going up? The tool itself is telling you how to publish more relevance in your ads. It's like having an advanced agency at your fingertips 24-7 to ensure that your ads are built to perform before you spend your money. Don't waste your money. Optimize your dollar spend so it can return the investment to what you need. Next. So let's talk about a couple things. Real time. I don't know of any other vendors that it gives you real time access to managing your specials, your offers, your APRs, your landing pages, your video, your content, etc. Everything dealer teamwork does, regardless of the platform, regardless of it's not responsive or dynamic, the things we do on the platform are. We never do an iframe. We never take people off their website. We never put silly pictures that Google can't read on. That's, that's amateur hour, right? But the game has been raised so much higher. We need to make sure everything's in real time. So that means, Brian, if your OEM called in right now and said that all Jeep Grand Cherokees are now available for a lease for, let's say, $249 a month with $3,500 down, the dealer can go to that ad, edit it, change that pricing, hit save, and it's instantly on their website, their landing pages, their used car, their new car, their service, their paid search, and their organic instantly. Brian and the listeners, think about how difficult it is and how time-consuming it is for you to update and manage your website, your landing page, and your offers today. It's virtually impossible to do it in real time until you have an MPOP. And MPOP's like a market pricing tool. It's going to be, everybody's going to have to have it soon because it drives too much of a competitive advantage. If you don't have an MPOP, you simply can't build ads the same way as easy, as fast, in real time. It's not possible. Next slide, please. So launch control. Just like on new and used, we work the same for service. How many people right now are optimizing their search for their service customers? We all know what loyalty means in profitability in the car business. Why are we giving some of our best customers the ability to defect when it comes time to service for a recall, an accessory, a parts, or anything? So we should do the exact same things. Let's make sure our website is optimized for service, just like new and used. Let's make sure we're driving relevant traffic to relevant pages that talk about the services they're looking for. Why should I get? a 30,000 mile maintenance from an OEM specific service department versus a Jiffy Lube or a CarMax, right? Or why should we do something like that? We can explain it. It allows us to engage more customers, keep them coming back, and we allow it to put in a format that makes your service offers relevant to the search criteria people are looking for today. How many people today even talk about their tires or their oil change offers on their website? Most aren't doing this very efficiently. Okay, so let's talk about the MPOP and how it builds out responsive dynamic landing pages. 
First of all, why are we doing this? What do you want your traffic to do? So again, when they get to your website, they've clicked on an organic search ad or a paid search or something. Now, what do you want them to see? What do you want them to do? What do you allow them to do? Too often, I see people driving very good paid search traffic to their home page or worse, to their VDP. A VDP is not where you want to drop this traffic. What happens if the VDP is the wrong color, the wrong year, has too high a mileage? They have to click back with no navigation, they're gone. The ads did their job, they got the interest, right? Why we build model specific pages, because it allows us to update the offers instantly. It allows it to be very specific to that make, model, and trim level. It allows it in all phases of search, whether it's discovery, shopping, or buying, right? Paid, owned, and earned. Smart dynamic landing pages give customers relevant information that's specific to their make, model, and trim levels. This is a big opportunity here. Take a look at this landing page in front of you. Why does this dealer have a 2016 Ford XLT, Northland Edition, a 2016 Ford F-150 XLT Sport, and a 2016 Ford F-150 Lariat all on the page, Brian? Options. Uh how many options are you giving your customers? We all know these cars or these trucks are not the same price. They don't lease the same. They don't have the same lease savings on it. So why do you think that one offer is enough to drive your traffic? It's not. It's, it's very difficult and time consuming, so most people can't do it. That's why. So let's keep going on this. Look at these landing pages. High quality traffic requires good quality engagement, requires good content. Let's not kid ourselves. These pages can't be fluff and buff, right? It is highly relevant, specific to the vehicle. So on an F-150 page, it could talk about engine options. It could talk about you know, towing options. It should have a video on it. Brian, why do we require videos on all of our landing pages? Do you have any idea? Uh, video is a great way to get people to click. I mean, and it's everybody loves to watch video. Yes, engagement. Google also tells you it's the number two search engine in the world. So why aren't I taking advantage of that? Look, I can prove to you and to my friends that sell video, right? They see it, they know it. Video helps with conversion. It's very content rich. It can have emotion, colors, sound. It's an exceptionally good way of generating interest and gathering more and more data or getting it. Look at this example. This is one of our customers up in Canada. Look how beautiful this is. Watch this. Brian, why, aren't every, why isn't everybody doing that? Because it's difficult. In the MPOP, that takes seconds, right? Look at this, this page laid out, right? I've got the Lariat, I've got an XLT, I've got a 2016, I've got multiple vehicles, multiple forms of merchandising, multiple ways to engage. I can click on inventory, I can apply for financing, or I can click the Get Special button right now and it instantly sends that right into your CRM. Make it easy for your customers to find what they're looking for the way they want and capture them. Don't let them go somewhere else, right? Look at this page. This page is probably the most optimized Jeep page in all of Boston, right? It's got a 2017, a 2012, a 2015, a 2012 Jeep Laredo, and a 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Brian, do you want to take any idea why we optimize this page with multiple vehicles, new and used? Take a guess for me. It's options, just like the last one, right? You know, give, give the person you know, lots of options to consider. Spot on. What about if this person didn't type in the word new? What if this person typed in just Jeep Cherokee? This page is extremely relevant. Guess what, Brian? You can serve up a used car ad outside your primary marketing area. Yes, write that down, dealers. Use your used search criteria to bring in more traffic out of your PMA. There's a secret. That's what my dealer's been doing for years, right? Number two, give people options. Maybe this customer on this page is buying a car. Maybe they're looking for a savings. Maybe they're looking for a certain color configuration. 
think about how flexible this page is, how much traffic you can land here, land here with high relevance, and think of how Google bait rich it is. This is incredibly rich information. So let me show you some things, some of our best in class organic results. Look at these ads on the screen right now. Check these out. New 2016 Rogue Lease for $69. Look at the information. Buy or lease. City, state, new Nissan finance with APRs. Go look at what your ads look like, everybody on this call. Call your paid search provider. Call your agency and tell them you want your ads to include prices, promotions, rebates, calls to action, countdown clocks, phone numbers, extensions. If not, you're being cheated. Next. It's just the game has changed. Now look at these paid search results. This is what you need and want. Here, if I was typing in something for a new Toyota Corolla, look at these ads. I could buy it for $17,372. Okay, I could lease it for $159. I could do a zero down lease for $220. I could save up to $2,253. Extremely relevant paid search ads. Wouldn't you agree, Brian? Absolutely. 99% of the people on this call, they can't do this today. They might be able to build one of these out by hand, but what happens when the special changes, right? These ads have somewhere between 40 and 140 variations of these ads built automatically by the MPOP by just giving us the inventory feed. I laugh because I just did an audit on the dealer group right next to us. They had like 115 keywords. Once they start on the MPOP, that particular campaign has 19,000 keywords in it. Which one do you think is going to perform better, Brian? The less relevant or the more relevant? Oh, the MPOP for sure. The benchmark click-through rates are second to none. The incentives and offers are built the way that Google wants it. The structures are correct. It appeals to the people, and you get highly relevant responses. So let's talk about this. Question number three. Okay. Where are you landing your relevant paid search traffic? Is it easy for them to engage? Everyone should stop and think about this. Everybody that's running paid or even TV or radio or newspaper right now. Okay, you spent thousands of dollars in an incredibly competitive environment to generate a lead right now. Where do you land them? Your home page? For God's sakes, this is 2016, people. Wake up. That's horrible. Your VDP? Come on. What happens if I land on a VDP it's the wrong color? The VDP doesn't even have navigational guides in it. You're going to send them back to the wild, wild west and hope that your next paid ad gets them? Your advertising agency did its job. Now it's yours to go ahead and bring them in, right? You land on your home page, your VDP, your SRP, your generic landing pages, or I don't know. Look, this is one of the biggest holes in the industry right now, not for automotive, for digital marketing. After people find what you're selling or offering attractive, where do they go? What do they do? What do you allow them to do? Think about it. If I got somebody to come in on a paid search ad for a $149 lease, and the first thing I do is land them on my home page, what do I want them to do? Go find that lease offer again? What happens if they get there and that same car that you showed for $149 a month only shows a buy price at $23,000? Did I just destroy their trust? Yes, I did. You captured them on something that caught their interest. For God's sakes, continue to allow to make that available to them. Don't make them start all over. 9% of people say, I don't know. You know what? That's fair because you're on a call like this to learn. But please, when you're done, go shop for a car yourself. Test your organic. Test your paid. When you find something attractive, see where it goes. Yep, Sean, you know, it's, when, we, when, we first, when we first asked the question, we were at 50% your homepage, and then <laughs> when you, no one else voted homepage after, after your statement about it being 2016, we, we ended with 25% homepage, 50% SRP, 8% VDP. VDP was actually up really high as well until you, until you made that statement. Uh, generic landing pages, we have 0%, and 17% of people don't know. Brian, I love it. It means our people are listening and they're educating. Look, again, we make digital marketing easy to understand first and use second in that order. Why? VDPs are not relevant for paid search traffic. 
It's too limiting of an option. There are certain examples of one-offs and when you have limit, limited inventory, things like that, that it makes sense. But an SRP, if you land it to, at least can show you that car, at least show you have six more options, three more colors, and gives you the navigational aids in place. Make sense? Brian, again, I can't tell you how embarrassing it is for our industry to see how poorly digital marketing is really being done. The only people really doing digital marketing well today are the people that are earning the commissions on it. They're taking your money. I mean, straight up, this is not the right way to do it. We can prove it. So let's look at this next slide, right? Let's see what we got here. All right. What we're looking at is digital marketing made easy to understand and use. We use real-time campaign updates, which means we have real-time HTML editors. It's a live visual editor. Most of the people today can't write HTML code. You don't have to with an MPOP. You simply look at the format, the structure, follow your quality score, right? It will walk you through step by step using our patent pending quality score inspection to make sure your SEO and SEM ads are built the most relevant way. It'll make sure it's search engine friendly, mobile friendly, even if you're using a platform that's not responsive. Again, there are many people being penalized today on this call using a technology of a provider today that's literally hurting your business. Okay? Together we make digital marketing easier to use and understand. Look, in the car business we know one thing. It has to be simple, easy, and fast or it's not going to get used very long. Our platform was tested by over 150 dealers before we went public. It was seen by many of the industry's most forward-thinking leaders. The secret, Brian, to this is 95% of everything we do is based on real-time dealer feedback. We're updating our technology weekly based on feedback. The MPOP is ground zero for marketing. It will change the way you create, distribute, and manage your elements of digital marketing forever. It will make your life significantly easier and give you a significant competitive advantage. Right. So Brian, can I, give the, can I give all the listeners a little bit of homework? Yeah, absolutely. Check this out. This is what I want everyone to do that's on this call. Do me a favor. Go out and do three to five searches on new cars. So let's say I own a Ford store in, in Waconia, Minnesota, right? Go out and do some searches that should find your stuff. So I want to buy a new F-150. Do I even show up? So right, you know, 2015, 2016, 2017, F-150. And see if you even show up. Are your ads performing? What do the ads look like? Does it have the answers to the question or are they just generic, milk toast, bland ads that are designed to make your agency money? Where does it go? What do they do when they get there? Do it for new, for used. So now go look at your used. I'm a Ford store, and I got a used Toyota Camry on my lot. Can I even find it for a search? Am I building a used car offer that stands out and paid in organic? Can I find that car on my website? You're going to be shocked how many people are doing it horribly today. Now do it for service. Go and do a search on service. I'm an F-150 owner. I want to do F-150 oil change or recall or tires or get ready for winter or an accessory. Do you even show up? And if you do on that ad, do you send me to the main page or do you send me to the service or the live I hear? Are you introducing me to the service manager? Do you have a phone number in the ad? Does it allow you to make a reservation? Can I do a text extension? Does it have the address in it? These are all basic elements of digital marketing, not automotive digital marketing. This is basic digital marketing. And again, why am I stressing it so much, Brian? Because 95% of automotive is doing it completely wrong today. It's not just about the amount of traffic, it's the quality of traffic and the engagement. What are they doing? Look at this example, Ford Edge Price. Look at that ad. The MPOP built this ad. The MPOP put in the pricing, the vehicle information, right? Look at the next ad. Another Ford dealer, completely irrelevant. Look at the next one, completely irrelevant. Third party lead provider. They're spending more money to get less clicks with less relevance. Okay? Look at this next one, Ford Focus Deal. Again, 
Look at the first one, Ford Motor Company. Look at the second one. It's answering the question of what a Ford Focus deal, what's the availability? It's got a lease, it's got a signing drive, it's got your location, it's got everything in it. You didn't build these, the MPOP did. So let me explain something, Brian. I don't want anybody to believe anything I said today. Make me prove it. Make me put the proof in the pudding. You know, the show me state, right? What we do at the Alert Teamwork is very simple. We teach people how digital marketing works. If they want to use it, they can. We do 30-day agreements. We don't believe in any contracts. Contracts are for people that are nervous about their products. We're not. If you don't like the service, don't pay for it. So what I'd like to do, Brian, is I'd like to offer every single person today on the call an auto success special. These are our prices, our new car, our used car our service. I'm willing to give every single listener on this call all three package for $1,999 a month. That means I'm going to build out a model-specific smart landing page for each one of your new models. I'm going to build up the four used car pages that are smart, dynamic, and responsive. Maybe it's brand, off-brand. Maybe it's under 10000 Maybe it's you know, something about the way you merchandise your cars. I'm going to give you unlimited email blasts. I'm going to give you unlimited analytics. I'm going to tag everything into your Google account. I don't use proprietary reporting. Proprietary digital marketing is fraudulent. Just say it. Just call it out. Anybody can make any report look like the way they need it to look if they can edit the data. You look, you'll see rookies or hacks. They'll hand you a report that doesn't have a date range on it, that doesn't have the filters applied to it, doesn't show the goal conversions. This is rookie or hack material. Please, Automotive America, wake up. It is so pathetically bad, and it's your money they're spending. They still get paid their commission. Wake up. They want you to pay more. They'll say, oh, you're missing your ad impressions. If you increase your budget, you get more. That's ridiculous. Many, many of our customers today have a hard time spending their full budgets. Why? Because if you do it right, the ad value and quality goes up. The cost of the click goes down. The on-site time goes up. The quality scores go up. What's that formula mean? Better search, more relevance, more relevance, better opportunity, drop them to a relevant page, their on time, their site time goes up, their quality, their engagement, their click-throughs, their phone calls, their chats, it all goes up. It's incredibly easy to see when you're doing it right what the results are. Does that make sense, Brian? Yeah, definitely. Well, that's it. I mean, basically, again, dealer teamwork was built on the philosophy of educating people how digital marketing is supposed to work. We decided to get an automotive because we love this industry and our friends and family are completely involved in it. What we saw was the majority of people, and I could name names if you want, start at the highest, biggest vendors you have. Because just because they're bigger doesn't make them better. Remember the old adage of, you know, insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Look, if you use an agency that's that's supporting everybody. They're doing it the exact same way. How do you stand out? How do you look different? How do you even know you're getting their leads? How do you know they're not siphoning up to the highest bidder? How do you know your ads are what's easy for them instead of what's right for you? I can answer these questions. You've seen the examples on this call. Again, unless you're going to do paid search right, stop wasting your money. Irrelevant ads are expensive, time-consuming, and basically they're what your competitors want you to keep up doing. Well, Sean, we've got some questions here. Everybody, this is Brian Ankney with Auto Success. I'd like to invite you all to uh, type some questions in. We've already got some in there. Um, I, I don't normally, Sean, I don't normally go through all the praises, but you've got some really good ones on here. Um, you know, we, we got one, good to see you back in action. Uh, the speed factor you mentioned, Sean, is a very good point you bring up. I did not really think about it uh, until you mentioned it. Thank you. And then, wow, you guys nailed it. That, that's just a few of them. Um, let's let's jump into some questions here. Uh, please, everybody, type in questions. I will get to all of them. Um, should we make ads for every car in inventory, Sean? No, you don't need to. You make it for every different make and model. So let's say I have 17 Ford F-150s, and the only difference between five of them is color. 
You don't need to make another ad for each one of those. I believe we make a used car ad for every used car in inventory because a used car has a uniqueness to it. It's the history, right? How did the car get here? Who owned it? What's the history? So every used car is unique. Every new car is not unique. But every unique new car I do, I would. Okay. Um, what is the monthly time commitment to update and populate these offers for a Chrysler Dodge Jeep store? Who is best to man this at the store? That's kind of depending on each person's store. But I've got a, a Chrysler Dodge Jeep store in Chicago. You can look them up. They have about 90 specials active with us almost every day because they carry a lot of inventory. That person you went from five to seven days of managing their specials to hours each time it's updated. And please understand, it's the special, it's the landing page, it's the call to action, it's the pay-per-click, it's the organic, it's the rotators on the website, it's all of that. All of that's being fed from the MPOP. You do it in one location. Look, I believe market pricing tools completely are letting the industry down. How? It's not about what to buy the car for, but it's also what you can sell it for. And once you understand what to sell for, why doesn't it build the ads and the offers for you and publish it in the format that Google can read it so search engines can find it and put people that are looking for that relevant information on your inventory? It's not about keeping the cars. It's about increasing the traffic to increase the number of opportunities you get. Dealers just need more swings at a lower cost per click. Okay. Uh, is MPOP able to split test ads, Sean? Yes, that's a whoever asked that's very smart. Great job. We highly recommend it. The MPOP and everything we do is completely tracked 100%, every click, every minute, where they went, et cetera, on Google Analytics. So I very much encourage, because we basically sell you an all-you-can-eat package. So build one F-150 ad with a video. Build one F-150 uh, special without a video and see if it converts. See what colors, the buttons. I don't know if you noticed, but even the buttons wiggle, things move. All of that is based on split testing, and all of that's based on feedback from the dealers and the consumers. Great question, whoever asked that. All right. How do we know which searches slash search words to optimize for? Well, that's a very good question. So what we do is instead of guessing, you know, what we do is we look and see what's being used in the market regularly. Our AdWords typically are 10 to 15 times bigger than anybody else's. Again, the better we can optimize, the more keywords that are relevant, the way they're being used, right, is very, very critical to your success. Most agencies and most people doing digital marketing are not taking the time to build out the proper variables, laying out enough keywords, negative keywords, using the Google technologies that are out there with broad matches and things like this to optimize the proper traffic. Look, not all traffic is good traffic. You don't want all traffic. I can't tell you how many times I see bot traffic or traffic with thousands of clicks that are on your site for five seconds. You realize you just paid to reduce your quality score and increased your cost of doing business. There are many vendors that are doing digital marketing so wrong that the commission doesn't even hurt you. It's the next time that someone comes in has to pay more to fix the sins they just did to you. Pay attention. Digital marketing is changing. Why? The modern consumer is changing faster than ever before. They're not shopping like they used to. Brian, think about this. People are only going to 1.4 to 1.6 dealerships before they buy, right? So doesn't that really mean that the shopping experience is occurring in the cloud? They're making their decisions with paid search or organic on your websites? Well, why aren't we optimizing our website as we used to do our showroom? Make sure it's assembled correctly. It's easy to navigate. Everything's, everything's perfectly laid out. Lots of options. Why do we believe? What shocks me is when I see a website that says, call for pricing. Why don't I just call in, in six months to see if you have the car still? Because you're clearly not interested in selling it the way a modern customer wants to buy it. The new millennials are showing us even more that if you don't optimize the way I want to shop to the way I shop, I'm going to find somebody else to sell me the car. And dealers better beware. It's changing at light speed. 
Many of these large dealer groups that have been in very fat and happy for a long time are in big trouble right now because they're not reinvesting and understanding what the modern customer wants and needs from their search, how their inventory works, or how they do new used or service. They're really a lot of risk right now. The modern shopper is changing everything, and the game is very, very open right now. If you do your digital marketing right, it's more important than television, newspaper, and radio combined. All right. Um, what is the typical turnaround time for specials when the OEM incentives are released? Obviously, many dealers at the same time wanting their website updated ASAP. It's seconds. So I, I could update an offer from a mobile device or an iPhone or a tablet. Everything we do is dynamic and responsive, including the MPOP editor itself. So I could shoot a video on my iPhone. I could update the video to my YouTube channel. I could copy my YouTube ID in there. I could have a real-time special with a video updated in seconds. It takes literally seconds to update an offer, a landing page, your organic and your paid search. And if you're doing your rotators and things like that off the MPOP as well, all of that is updated at the exact same time. Great question. Many dealers tell me I make it very easy to stand out, I save them a significant amount of time, and it ensures that there are no shortcuts made, right? Because what we know about a dealership is unless we have a standard process, it tends to get skipped or we take shortcuts. Those cost you money and opportunities. Make it as simple as one, two, three. All right. Um, is this a fit for a small independent used car dealer stocking 50 vehicles and selling 25 a month with a small advertising budget? They need it more than anybody else. How is that small lot going to stand out? How are you going to find that beautiful uh, you know, F-150 that's on that used lot? You've only got 35 cars on your lot. How are you going to stand out? Please, God, don't tell me they're going to drive by and see my inflatable gorilla. right? That's not going to work. So the only thing that works today is search. Please, if you take one thing away from my conversation today, search is king of everything. There's a reason why Google is God. Google is relevance. Google's a data company that's trying to understand what pages, what sites to serve up based on what you typed in. That's all it's trying to do. Remember. Digital marketing is very easy to understand and use if you look at it from that level. Don't let people confuse you. I see so many digital marketing agencies telling people stuff that's flat out wrong or deliberately using scare tactics so they don't ask more questions. If you have a digital marketing company today, you should be able to ask them anything you want. You should ask them to show you what's happening. And then you should be able to log into Google and see their results in a search engine instantly. If not, they're doing it wrong and you're wasting your money. It should be on real time and it should be very flexible to the way your customers are searching, not the way they think it should be done. Okay. Uh, Sean, will the migration to spoken search affect the impacts? Spoken, I don't believe so. I mean, the MPOP, the MPOP is our merchandising personalization optimization platform. Again, it wasn't built specifically for automotive. It's designed to build paid, organic, and pages and relevant digital marketing so search engines can understand it. It, it helps you with your Google, your Bing, your Ugly Duck, all these other things. It ties all of these things together. It gives the ability to control your digital marketing to a make, model, trim level, right? Get, don't get me wrong. Searches will be more specific, and we'll, we'll answer those, right? But understand, as people search for cars, the way people are searching is changing. People are typing in 2017 used F-150 Raptor. Right? They're searching long tail more than you can imagine. So why are you finding irrelevant ads that are super expensive? It's because you didn't prepare yourself for all forms of search. You took the shortcut. And that's going to cost you in search opportunity, and your cost of doing business is going to skyrocket. Look, we've proven this in some of the most competitive markets in the country. We have Ford stores in LA. We have Ford stores in the Midwest. We have Ford stores in the East Coast. We have Toyota and Nissan. Nissan. We have Mercedes stores, BMW stores, Highline stores. We've sold used Ferraris, etc. We've ranked these things number one in North America, not with cost, with relevance of the ad. 
I've got a friend after this you can call, a great buddy of mine, Peter Boson, runs a great dealer group, has for years. He challenged us a while ago. He said, help me sell some high-end cars. We took his used cars. We built a used car add-on for each one of them. We built the ads according to what people were searching for. And we ranked him one in North America on three different vehicles across the country for less than what most people spent on coffee this month in the store. You can call them yourself and ask what the results were. Nice. Um, does MPOP account for negative keywords also? I have to, of course. Geo-targeting, geo-fencing, negative, exactly right. Look, you need to use all of the Google tool chest to its full advantage, right? So there are certain zip codes that don't, that's not as relevant. I look at a lot of these vendors out there with zip code routing. I think zip code routing was made for the post office, so they didn't create it, right? All they're trying to do is say, who's in these markets? What type of income level? That makes sense, understanding the type of people that buy and use your services and products, and make sure you're promoting your services and offerings the way they can afford it and they want to buy. But hang on, this product works for buy here, pay here, it works for you know multi-monthly payments, bi-weekly payments, it allows it to customize the offers and merchandising the way the consumers want to buy and search, not the way the vendor wants it to work. There's the difference. It's incredibly flexible, easy to use, and the dealers themselves are now in control of their digital marketing, their quality, their landing pages, their call to action, their keywords, their negative, they're geo-targeting everything, down to the make, model, and trim. There is no vendor that does it this way today that gives you more control, more flexibility, or more transparency than dealer teamwork. Well, this, this next question kind of ties in with that one. Um, and I, and I, I, know, I know you're going to have a heck of an answer for this one. So um, what are your thoughts regarding paid third-party vendors versus investing and in using your MPOP tool to generate leads to sales? Well, look, I believe that car dealers today need to understand what their goals are, and they need to understand what they're trying to do. How are you going to sell your 250 new, right, and 195 used this month? How are you going to do it? Where's the traffic going to come from? How are people finding your leads? Look, no offense to Ford dealers. I'm obviously a big Ford person, right? Drive an F-150. You didn't make the vehicle. Your job is to merchandising, personalize it, and make it available, right? Because you didn't make the car, it's not unique to you. So what are people going to do to find it? Look, third-party lead providers have figured out how to take your own inventory, generate leads with it, and sell those leads back to you. That's how they make money. I don't blame them. It's a good strategy, particularly because so many dealers do it wrong today. But what I'm seeing, Brian, is dealers are waking up. They're getting much smarter. They're not taking every answer that doesn't make sense and just leaving it that way. If it doesn't make sense to you, if it's an icky feeling, if it's bot traffic, if it's low quality traffic, if the bounce rates are too high, it's, it's not fair. It's not accurate. It's not honest. Right? I see people that buy bot traffic all the time, and they get 15,000 views, and they're there for seven seconds. Not only did you pay for wasteful traffic, you hurt your opportunities tomorrow and the next day by trying to cheat Google. It doesn't make sense. So dealers today should learn how digital marketing really works and how they can use digital marketing to their advantage to generate their own leads, to generate their own traffic, to stand out from the crowd, right? at a lower cost per click and generate higher converting traffic by giving them relevant, timely information that's specific to their search, not what an OEM wants to push. Well, um, actually, let's say our last question is, is, will we have access to a recording? Just so everybody knows, um, we did go over a lot of technical stuff today, and this has been recorded, and uh, you will have access to this recording. If anybody else has any last-minute questions, please type them now. I'm going to keep that screen open. Uh, as I tell you a couple things, if you haven't joined Auto Success Webinars, please do. It's a group on Facebook. Um, if, you, if you would like to be notified of, of future webinars, you can go to autosuccessonline.com uh, slash webinars. Uh, you'll see all of our future webinars. Uh, you can also watch recordings of past webinars. If anyone would like a recording of this webinar, 
please send Sean, who would you like for them to email if they would like to see the recording? Uh, why don't you just email uh, myself, Sean at dealerteamwork.com. That's S E A N at dealerteamwork.com. Fantastic. Well, it looks like that's all the questions for today. Sean, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us today and share all this great information. Is there anything else that you would like to share before we let our listeners go? I just want to say thank you to this industry I love. You know, I took a sabbatical to learn about what the next opportunity was. We looked at technologies. We looked at every aspect of buying and selling cars. And the reason why we settled in on digital marketing is because we saw it was a tremendous amount of change occurring and change drives opportunity. And then I saw the quality of the digital marketing and the results many of my dealer friends were getting, and it was embarrassing. And we realized there's a better way to do it by start with understanding how digital marketing works and how dealers can use it to their own advantage. Please learn, listen, ask questions, experiment. The game is changing. The dealers on top today, unless they're changing and paying attention, are not going to be on top tomorrow. The car business is changing faster than any other time in history. Get in the game. Experiment. Play. Find good partners that are willing to teach you and show you. I don't care if you use the MPOP or not. Please feel free to call us, take a demo. We'll show you many things you can do yourself, and we'll show you the things you're doing wrong today. And I also want to say huge shout out to the Auto Success team. You guys are great to work with, and uh, we love doing these webinars, Brian. Thanks. Well, we'll have you back again in the future, Sean. Um, everybody, this is Brian Ankney. Uh, please, please, um, you know, if you've got other people in the dealership that would like that you think that would benefit from this, you know, get the recording and share it with them. Um, you know, we're here to help. You know, if there's a topic you would like to see covered or a person you would like to see as as a presenter, please, you know, reach out to me. You can do that through our website. You can do that through Facebook, or you can email me. I, my email is just like Sean's. It's Brian at AutoSuccessOnline.com. That's Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at autosuccessonline.com. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you all taking the time. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope to see you all back again in the future. Have a great day, Sean. Godspeed, my friend. Thank you.